Hey guys, I hope that everyone is weathering the holidays well right now. I hope that everyone had a really great Thanksgiving. I had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Um, so tonight I kind of had a little bit of a break and um, whenever I have downtime, my mind pretty much always goes into poetry flow, writing flow, and so I wanted to come on tonight and read a writing that I'm working on. This is a writing that is sort of a continuation of something I started a couple of years ago that I titled Storm Chaser. And so I didn't think at the time I would have a continuation of that particular writing. Um, but at any rate, this evening, while I've had some downtime, um, I was kind of thinking about how I have this tendency to tie emotions to natural um, occurrences like weather phenomena, tornadoes and hurricanes and stuff like that. And so um, I'm, a, I'm a very metaphorical, symbolic kind of a thinker. Um, so what I wanted to do was just kind of come on and, and read what I what I've got written so far. It's a springboard. I can tell it's going to be a springboard for probably a longer story. Um, so it's by no means complete, but I just wanted to share it with you and um, I hope that you all enjoy it. Um, so this is sort of like, I guess, Storm Chaser Part 2 or Storm Chaser The Continuation. But um, the background for it is that I was just kind of thinking about emotions and um, romantic relationships when they go bad and sort of the emotional um, turmoil that people experience when that happens. And so um, anyway, I connected that to um, this massive tornado. That was the imagery that came to my mind was this huge tornado. And I don't know if you've ever seen um, the movie Twister. It's like this old school movie, so I'm really dating myself here. But um, there was a part in that movie where it talks about the Fujita, the Fujita scale. And so they scale these tornadoes like F1, F2, F3, F4. And then when you get to an F5, at that point, the tornado is just so big and so destructive and so powerful and consuming, they refer to it as the finger of God. And so thinking about that and thinking about how powerful our emotions can be, um, I just kind of came up with this imagery and this short story of sorts. So I'm going to read it and I hope that you enjoy it. The approach was intense in a way uniquely its own. But the eye, the vortex, that was what got me. Seeing you come in steady towards me, sucking everything up in your path and slamming it to the earth should have been my first clue. But then I always run to the fight, don't I? If there is a chance of destruction, I find myself there. Dark, foreboding, moving fast, powerful, mysterious, things I love. I'm not sure if I could have resisted. When I heard the sirens, I should have ran away, but my instinct is always to dive. Free floating in the chasms of the pain, I love to unearth within myself 
masochistic maven that I am. You were the perfect storm. And when I got on the inside, my world turned upside down. Orientation was no longer a thing. How do you do this? How often do you do this? May be the better question. You've swept over long abandoned haunts for quite some time. The places where loneliness dwells. The places where insecurity cowers and craven longing is your sweet spot. When the sky turns dark, I always feel such a release. The atmosphere without is a reflection of that within. The depths of my soul yield to the surface and I am all white caps. Every bit of mire casts from the bottom. There is no shore in my universe that isn't visited by souvenirs of the undoing of me. As you released in all your fury, I ascended. There is something so intoxicating about seeing you twist out of control. Indeed, I become tipsy at tumult. F3, F4, the finger of God winnowing the weaknesses in me. I tumble in the jet stream. I am caught up and soar upon the thermals of the madness I cannot seem to conquer. All the while, you build and build and build. When you are long gone, I will still be rebuilding. How is this fair? Equity is an afterthought, and my discernment lies slain. What could I have done to better prepare? Batten down the hatches, watched the news. Before I knew it, you were here, upon me, in me, and I in you. Soul ties tethering each other to the next disaster. Perhaps it's the electricity that saturates the air around me. Covered in cold chills, my body vibrates in a frequency that is only found when hot meets cold. The thunder provides an addictive resonance I never want to escape. It's storms like this, like you, that can change topography. Oceans disappear and lend you their strength and I am that sea. Foamy chaos swirling extravagantly. All right, that's what I've got so far. I'm excited about cranking out the rest of it. Who knows how long it'll take me. I have so many projects in the works that are just kind of sitting there. But um, anyway, I hope you found it intense. I hope you found it enjoyable. I hope you found it inspiring and um, hopefully not too relatable. But um, I'm sure many of you can relate to that. So anyway, thank you for putting up with me in another video. Thank you for listening to me read some of my writing. I appreciate you all letting me share my passion with you. Okay? So have a great night, and I will do another video soon. Okay? Bye!